me go! Oh, Mr. Byrne, you're hurting me. Emily. You've been drinking. Let me go. Would you like me to tell my wife that you've been dipping into her perfume? I don't care. Let me go. Let me go. Emily. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Stop it. Do you want the whole neighborhood to hear you? Pull yourself together and I'll let you go. I can't go through with this. You promised to stay up there. Listen to me. The only thing to do is to go to the police. Tell them exactly how it happened. That it was an accident. But they'll never believe me. Even you don't believe me. <laughs> and don't you realize, Marjorie? You're reading the manuscript to solve everything. You know, I met Emily on the stairs. She was coming down from her bath. She'd used your perfume. She looked rather pretty and I wanted to kiss her. But she got frightened and screamed. I had to stop her screaming. I didn't mean to kill her. I hardly touched her. But I didn't realize how easy it would be. So very easy. <laughs> I thought you said Marjorie went to the doctor today. She did. Mrs. Ambrose said she went to the Lawlers. She went both places. The Lawlers live in the country. If she went there, it means she spent the day. I tell you, she went to the doctors. I stopped quibbling and help. A scandal would ruin all of us. Are there more people to be considered than this dead servant girl? You used to refer to her as Emily. Don't be like that. Can't you understand how I feel? If I could undo what's happened, if I could go back. But I can't. I've got to think of Marjorie and my child. This has been a lesson to me. I know I've been foolish, but I'll change. I swear I will. That filthy moon. Don't you think what? Have you tied the anchor to the sack? Yes. Well, this should do it. First the anchor. All right, lift up. Did you see that? What? Something bright. Something flashed out there in the water. 